What's up, YouTube? Carlos from CK Exotics is here with another video. I know I haven't posted in a long time. Uh, this is why. I just moved into my apartment in Las Vegas. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on with, uh, with my Instagram, with YouTube and everything. But I'm going to be back making a bunch more videos for you guys. Uh, I just got some more timber. I got another pair of timber monitors after my timber monitor pair got stolen two years ago. You know who did it and I know who did it. So this one's just for you. We're going to be attempting to build a, a enclosure for these timber monitor for my new timber monitor pair. So let's get to it. So here's this is a four by two by three enclosure. It's super big. I got from someone on Craigslist, which was a great steal. So to start off, I'm just going to take some styrofoam and I'm going to put it on the back of the enclosure and on the sides of the enclosure. So what do you see me doing here is just sealing the edges with some expanding foam. And then later on in the clip, you're going to see how I measure out the styrofoam to take to make it fit perfectly on the sides and on the back. So with this part here, you see me having to cut another piece of styrofoam for the sides of the enclosures. Uh, I did kind of mess up and I had to go back and do it all over again. This enclosure was really hard. It's not easy at all to build an enclosure for monitors or even any, any type of lizard. It was a job for me. All right, so right here, I had to go back and recut another piece of styrofoam to make it level so it can go on the side of the enclosure to fit perfectly but i still didn't have a measuring tape and i just moved into my apartment so all i had was a knife <laughs> so this part here as you see you see me putting the expanding foam on the back of the styrofoam to go on the side of the enclosure So here you see me filling up all the cracks and crevices. So once when I do finish the enclosure, the roaches or any type of bug or anything won't get inside the cracks. So this is where I'll show you where I only had a knife to use for the styrofoam to cut. And as you see here, I didn't measure it the right way. So it would be okay if you use a measuring tape to measure your styrofoam pieces out. Cause it sure did take me a quite a while in recutting. So this piece finally did fit, but I had to take it out again and do a little more cutting. And then this is how bad the floor was, but everything got done with the expanding foam and all around the enclosure. So this here where I was hanging vines and rocks and hides for the monitors, cause they are boreal. So they do climb and hide in trees and be high enough for the enclosure. It is four by two by three. So this is where they were.
And as you can see, I was just doing some cleanup places to fit better pieces of rock, styrofoam, and more hides for the enclosure. So this is where I was adding the substrate for the uh, for the monitors. They are arboreal species, but they do come down to dig and search for food. So I put at least a foot and a half of substrate, which is sphagnum moss, topsoil, and play sand. So this is the finishing touches of the enclosure. I did let everything cure for 24 hours before I put the monitors in there. And this is the outcome of the enclosure. This is my male timber monitor. He's a super, he's a big beast. And that's Chunk. And that is Tiny up there. And this is the enclosure for my timber monitors. <laughs> 